So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing. And I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming. And he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game. And his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. So here's the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. At one point, he had won 11 consecutive fights, turned in the consensus 2016 fight of the year against Cub Swanson in a three-rounder that really had it all. This is an outstanding striker, very conditioned guy, beautiful counterattacks, and he showed you in the Swanson fight. This man has the ticker and the chin to go with all the skills in the world. Sky is the limit, may sound trite, but this is a guy, Joe, that many people have pegged as a future UFC champion. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is two years his senior. He is three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Kickboxer holding professional record of 16 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tom Fire Kid Duquesne. And now he comes his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a groovy South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Ready. Round one. All right, round one is underway. Here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Do Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Duho Choi here tonight. He's got good accuracy on that jab. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. Oh, nice flying knee attempt there. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Oh. Nailed him with that right hand. Big straight punch. Just went for the inside leg kick. Both fighters slow to attack, trying to get their timing down. Just out of range with the big right hand. Duquesne while gets absolutely melted by that head kick. And he eats a right hand there. 
And he's looking for that left. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Man, he is in trouble. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Both men landing in that exchange. Oh, big kick. The left hook hits home. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, this could be it. Movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back to side control. So some separation here, Joe. How about that shin? Nice kick. Big power in that kick. Under two minutes now to go. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Nice leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Duquesne. Oh, and he ate a front kick. Back to the straight punch here, Joe. He him again. This could be it right here. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Good kicks there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Duquesne Wong. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Straight right, he misses. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Leg kick checked nicely by Short. All right, there's the clapper, 10 seconds to go. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Duquesne. Five minutes in the books. And there is the horn. He survives to see another round, but multiple knockdowns there. Big round from Cho. A huge round, and his opponent should be commended for even making it out of that round because, boy, did he take some damage. Beautiful strike here, lands on target. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Ready, fight. Ready. Here we are, early round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Joy gets caught by the inside leg. Starting 
do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Couldn't agree with you more. Nice punch by Duque. Head kick! Look at this. Oh! What a leg kick! Effective punch there by Chor. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Miss with the left there. Choi's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Lands the inside leg kick there. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Yeah, he's digging oh. into that leg kick. Wow. Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Big body shot. Body. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid... Big oh. kick to the head. He's hurt. He's stunned. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Nice leg kick. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result... Wow! He is hurt here! Oh, both men exchange. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. His opponent's got his back. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Now he's got it. He opens it up, pulls him onto his back, goes palm to palm here. He might get a finish here. That rear naked choke is in deep. Any second now he may have to tap. That's it. And that will do it. He got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here, and the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest at 3 minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho So the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime. We'll see just how far he can take it. But tonight, undeniable.